Hey you! Yeah? You like clothes? No. What? Well, we got a brand new merch store with brand new high quality comfy clothes. But it's only available for two weeks, so get it now or you're literally never gonna get it again. Links in the description. Bye. I think it's no surprise that I get injured a lot. It's also no surprise I make videos about all the times I get injured. So when the nurses were patching me up because of my last bad injury, I thought, I'm totally gonna profit off of this. Actually, I am. What? The reason I'm making this video is because not only is this my worst injury, but it's also my dumbest injury. Here's the story. One day in August, my friend Jack invited me and a bunch of other guys to sleep over and play. I, I mean, hang out. <laughs> We were hanging out for a couple of hours, you know, playing basketball, watching TV, shooting the breeze. You guys think I'll ever get married? To a woman? Eventually, some guys decided to go swimming, but some other guys decided to go play basketball. But I didn't want to be a loser and play a sport like, ugh, pfft, sports suck. So I played volleyball in the pool instead. Jack's family had recently bought this miniature volleyball net with floaties for the pool, and my cousin Ian and his friend were playing. It looked fun, so I asked them to play and hopped in the pool. Wow. I'm sorry, you just look so muscular. Have you been working out? Oh, this? <laughs> you mean my abs? <laughs> uh, yeah, I have been working out. Dude, that never happened. Dude! Just... Just let me have this, okay? Since there were only three of us in the pool, we needed an extra player to balance the teams. So, Ian's friend Ronald told his little brother McDonald to play with us. Are those their real names? Yeah, obviously. Uh, I mean, I mean, no. While we were playing, everything was going pretty normal. The only problem was that we were all super close to each other. Like, I'm talking right in front of each other in two and a half feet of water. And we were all playing volleyball intensely. So one of us would be smashing the ball on the opposing team's side, and that team would get the point. At a certain point, me and Ian were losing, and he told me I had to block more. The only problem with me blocking in this scenario is that, again, I'm right in front of the opposing team. But I still followed Ian's advice. So when Ronald set McDonald up for the Grand Slam, I went for the block. As soon as I blocked him, I felt extreme pain. Like, okay, you know when you get really hurt and you get a stomach ache because you're in so much pain? Yeah, that's what happened to me. Oh my gosh. What do I do? I ended up spending the next hour with Jack's mom trying to figure out what the heck happened to my hand. This was all that we could gather. McDonald hit my hand instead of the ball really, really hard. Eventually, after realizing it wasn't getting any better, I went out to tell the guys what happened. Hey, guys. I'm I'm pretty sure I might have broken my hand. Oh my gosh, are you serious? What? How? Wait, Wait really? Yeah, I, I I think it's really messed up. <laughs> There's no way that's broken. Okay, the adults are talking right now. The guys brushed it off, explaining that what probably happened was that my fingers got jammed, but would heal over time. Bro, trust me, you're totally okay. That's happened to me in volleyball like a million times. This has happened to you a million times? Yeah. Yeah, all right. So it turns out that all my friends are stupid. My hand was swollen all night, okay? And anytime any pressure was put on it, it hurt extremely bad. And since they said it was jammed, I even put tape on my fingers. And that just made me look like an idiot. And the pain wasn't even in my fingers. But I was all like, hey, I mean, it's happened a million times to him. And I still slept over. So how much money do you make? We're not having this conversation again. The next day, I sent a picture of my hand to my mom, and she made me come home immediately to get it checked out by a doctor. Nathan? Come home right now. I'm fine. Totally fine. I don't know why it's coming out all loud and squeaky, because really, I'm fine. I drove home one-handed to my very worried mother who then drove me to the doctor's. Hi, what can I help you with today? Hi, I'm pretty sure my son broke his hand. I'm fine. Don't listen to him, he's not. So there I was, sitting in the waiting room with tape still on my fingers like a moron. But in all honesty, I thought my mom was seriously exaggerating. In my head, I was thinking, Broke my hand, give me a break. I, I mean, how silly is that? I, I, I merely jammed my fingers. I mean, I have the tape to prove it. Put your hand out like this, sweetie. Put my hand out like this, what a bunch of chumps. Ooh, I went to college. Ooh, I don't draw myself for a living. <laughs> what do they know? So, you broke your hand. What? Yep, you're gonna have to wear a cast for a while. Th there's, there's no way. Actually, there is, see? I... We call this a boxing fracture. People tend to break their hands like this from punching something. What did you say you did again? 
I, uh, I, I blocked a 15 year old playing volleyball in a pool. For real? Yes, okay. Truly the worst outcome. I was seriously shocked. I mean, how do you break a hand playing pool volleyball? Also, it didn't help that the nurse was moving at rapid speeds, putting a temporary cast on my arm. And I didn't even have time to process that my life would be ruined for the next two months. Well, hopefully you'll be able to work. Oh, what do you do? <sighs> I'm an animator. No, no, he's a YouTube star. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Yeah, okay, yeah. And I'm sure this thing won't cause any problems. Yeah. Turns out, days before I broke my hand, I recorded my Raising a Puppy video, and was just about to start animating it. So, for the first month and a half of production on that video, I worked like this. <laughs> it was seriously annoy. Because of cast, I know work. What? Sorry, yeah, because of my cast, I could hardly type, and my typing and grammar skills have never recovered. It's, it's a whole thing. Okay. This video was sponsored by Grammarly. This video continue the story. This video was sponsored by Grammarly is a free desktop app to help you throughout your writing from start to finish. This applies to anything you write. Emails, essays for school, presentations, etc. Grammarly has proven time and time again to seriously save the day when I'm writing scripts for these videos. One day I hurt my little hand. Oh. I also haven't been in school for a long time, so having Grammarly by my side when sending professional emails or communicating with my team really helps me build strong work relationships. If you're like me, you don't come off super confident in your writing. With Grammarly Premium's Clarity Full Sentence Rewrites, it takes my hard to read sentences and keeps it concise and to the point, and I'm able to sound more confident when sending professional emails. It works great, especially if communication is part of your daily work routine. Since it's the final season for school, there's no better time to download Grammarly than right now. It saves a ton of time and ensures your essays are flawless, and you can go the extra step to make Make sure you don't plagiarize, luckily with Grammarly Premium. Their plagiarism detector helps scan 16 billion web pages, making sure your essay is good to go. If you want to get started with Grammarly, use my link grammarly.com slash swoosh to sign up. And if you want to get access to their advanced features like I mentioned, upgrade to Grammarly Premium for 20% off. <coughs> Can you explain how you broke your hand now? Are you going to download Grammarly? Yes. Good. Anyways, later that week I went to get my permanent cast on, and asked the doctor how I even broke my hand. He explained to me that what probably happened is that when the kid hit my hand instead of the ball, he hit my finger this way, and it cracked the bone in my hand. A couple depressing days later of wearing my cast, and I decided to go to Chick-fil-A with my friend. Upon walking in, I saw a familiar face at the register. Hi, how can I help? Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's me. Hey, thanks for breaking my hand, by the way. Yeah, okay. What can I get for you? Yeah, actually, I got this itch on my wrist, and I can't get it because of the cast. Like, do you think you could, like... You know what, I'll just go. I think the worst part of this entire experience was just how much my cast prevented me from doing stuff. There was one time I was on a weekend trip with my friends, and one of our stops was at a water park. You're not supposed to get a cast wet, so we went through the trouble of wrapping a giant trash bag over my arm. I even waited in line for almost an hour for a five-person tube ride with my friends just to be in the tube and the ride guy saying, Um... What's with the, uh... Oh, this? Yeah, I actually have six fingers and I'm really insecure about it. Right. Um, I, I can't let you ride this ride. I'm sorry. I figured as much. <laughs> then again, even though I had some rough times with that stupid cast, I think one time it actually kind of got me out of paying a ticket. One late night, I was ravenous and went to Chipotle. Please sponsor me. After getting my food, I was in a rush because, again, Ravenous and didn't stop fully at the stop sign leaving. While I was driving down the road, I saw a cop car flashing his lights, so I pulled over. Hey, buddy, do, do you know why I pulled you over? I I'm sorry, no, actually. <laughs> it's just because you didn't fully stop when you were leaving Chipotle, but <laughs> it's, it's fine, it happens to the best of us. Amen, brother. Hey, what happened to your hand? Oh, this thing, I... I blocked a 15-year-old playing volleyball in a pool. Yeah, you gotta come up with a better story next time someone asks you that. <sighs> yeah, I know. The cop ended up being super nice and just asked for my license, then came back and said I was free to go. I was honestly shocked, and as I was driving away I thought, man, either that guy felt really bad about my hand or was just super bored. Hey, where's my Chipotle? <laughs> oh man, what an idiot. <laughs> In conclusion, I ended up wearing my cast for six weeks straight. That's 42 days, okay? By the end of it, my hand smelled like a dead animal. This is the worst. In any case, what did I learn from this situation? Number one, wash your hands all the time because you never know when your hand is gonna smell like an animal carcass for six weeks. Number two, keep your YouTube channel a secret from your mother. And number three, never invite your little brother to anything.
Holy cow, I posted a video? Is it Christmas? Good to see you guys again. I know it's been a minute, but I hope this video was worth the wait. Like I said before, we have a brand new merch store with limited time merch. They're super comfy and really high quality. I actually really love these designs. So please get them while you can. It's only available for two weeks. Link is in the description. I wanna thank every single person on my team for helping with this video. I wanna stress to you guys, I do not make these videos by myself. Without my storyboarders, animators, or background artists, these videos would look terrible. Make sure to check all them out. They're amazing. I also just posted a live action video on my second channel that I spent literally the entire night editing, so please go watch it. Thanks for Brody and James for the lines. Thanks again to Grammarly for sponsoring this video, and thank you for watching. God bless. See you guys soon.